Hi everyone, are you loving or curious about walnut milk? Well, I am going to give you the best recipe for your taste buds, for your health, and for your wallet. You may not know this, but many different brands of nut milks out there, including walnut milk, are filled with preservatives, pesticides, GMOs, and they're actually more expensive. I started to really get into natural health as far back as 2005, and I became crazy about researching it. I wanted to know the ingredients inside my cosmetics, my cleaning supplies, my personal care products, my food, and my water. And you guys would be shocked. The more you research and investigate the stuff that they put inside these products, even the nut milks, they're contaminated with stuff like fluoride, which basically means they're not using decent water purifiers. My name's Rodney Dotson. I'm a life and health coach. I have currently 700 clients around the world in 11 countries. And I'm obsessed, yes, obsessed with natural health. Make sure you guys watch this full video because I'm going to give you great tips to ensure you don't make the same mistakes as most people do, rendering the nut milk less healthy. And if you'd like more recipes, make sure you click subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time I do a new video. Okay, so there are three main steps to making walnut milk. First step is to soak them. Okay, so you'll need one cup of organic walnuts. Pour all of the walnuts into a container, preferably glass. And I actually got this one from a farmer's market, so I tend to recycle it a lot. Pour one cup or more of purified water into the glass and shake it up. Walnuts have anti-nutrient properties on the skin, bad for digestion, so it's good to soak them for a few hours to remove it. Okay, so now we're gonna seal the glass jar tight and put it into the refrigerator. And this process of soaking also makes the walnut softer and it turns it into a better milk. So we soak the walnuts overnight. And as you guys can see, these are the compounds in the murky water that make digestion more difficult, so it's good that we remove them. You can use a regular strainer, just make sure the holes are small enough so it's not gonna take away any of the walnuts. Okay, so the second step is to blend the ingredients. Pour the walnuts into a blender. Pour about four cups of water into the blender along with the walnuts, but make sure that the water comes from a good source. I do have a water purifier. I do not suggest ever using tap water because that's filled with all kinds of bad stuff. Uh, and then I would also veer away from bottled water because that typically has petrochemicals. So try to get a water purifier if you can. Blend the walnuts in the water for about one minute and you're good to go. Step three, filter the milk. So you can use a milk strainer or cheesecloth to do this, but I just use a metal strainer and it works for me. You can use a metal or a wooden spoon to push the rest of the milk out from the remains of the walnuts. Check it out, doesn't it look great? It looks just like milk. So you wanna take all of this and put it inside a glass container and then we're gonna put it back in the blender. Okay, so add one banana, make sure it's organic, and remember, the riper, the sweeter. I'm totally aware that organic doesn't necessarily mean 100% pure, but studies do show that there's significantly less poisons in organic versus conventional, so we do the best that we can. Then I add a little bit of baking soda to alkaline the milk because nuts tend to be very acidic. Add a pinch of sea salt, it's good for mineral content, Add one capful of vanilla extract for taste. I like to add one drop of cinnamon oil for the taste and it's also 50 times stronger in its medicinal properties than the powder. And science has shown that it has a significant positive effect on healthy blood sugar and metabolism. Well, now you know how to make walnut milk and you know how to make it organic and healthy. I use nut milk for everything, for my coffee and tea, to my cereal and oatmeal. And I even make homemade ice cream. If you guys want the recipe, let me know. Make sure you check the description below because I put the recipe there along with the health benefits of walnut milk that I didn't cover in this video. If you like this video, make sure you click like and subscribe. Hit that bell button to be notified every single time I come out with a new video. Comment below, we wanna hear your opinion. And as usual, make sure you keep it holistic.